Hello Mamshis and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a brand new video for you. This is kung paano ko ini-entertain ang aking toddler dito sa bahay habang tayo ay home quarantine. Okay, so the first three tips is going to be in this video and for the last four and five tip, you can watch it with my kakolab for this video with which is Mommy Andrea Taylor. Hello! Hello! Mommy blogger from Davao City and I've met her in person. She's so nice and so mabait and she also is a mom of two boys. Kaya yung mga tips niya rin, yung video niya magiging tips rin kung paano niya ine-entertain ang kanyang mga boys. So make sure that you check out her video after you watch this video kasi nandu doon sa video niya yung aking tip number 4 and number 5. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that I do to entertain my kids, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, work from home mom, yung mga ordinary things na chores na ginagawa mo, I let my toddler help. You know, let him help sa mga everyday things na ginagawa ko. Like on this B-roll, I'm gonna show you paano ko hinayaan na si River pumitas ng mga dahon, ng alubati sa garden namin para lulutuin namin as lunch on that day. So, Things like that. Also, I let him help sometimes to water the plants in the morning and let him help sa chores or pick up things. So, yung mga things, paunti-unti ko na siyang tinuturuan kung paano uh, gawin yung mga gawain sa bahay. Sabi nga nila, start them young. Okay? So, that's the first tip. The next tip that I would like to share with you guys is Legos. Grabe. Talagang amazed na amazed ako sa Legos. He's so addicted sa Legos. I'm gonna show you my Lego here. Kahit anong Lego ata will work. Pero right now, I'm gonna show you. Pero ito yung Legos na ginagamit ko. Matagal ko na itong pinakita sa inyo guys. This is the Mega Blocks. My first builders. Malalaki siyang Legos. Hindi siya yung maliit. So, perfect to for ano, um, 1 to 5 years old na kalagay dito. So, ayun. Kasi di ba pag baby pa sila, kinakain nila everything. At least, anti-choking na rin siya. Pero ito, gustong gusto ito ni River. Alam mo, marami akong ginagawa dito sa uh, Legos na to. Sometimes, sasabihin ko sa kanya, gagawa kami ng airplane. Tapos, yung Lego na yun, papalipad pa rin kung ganyan. Shoo, shoo. So, so ganun. Na-activate yung imagination niya. And also, um, nagiging uh, teaching tool na rin siya. Kasi, sasabihin ko, where is the blue Lego? Kukunin niya. Where is the yellow Lego? Or where is the red Lego? Or tatanungin mo siya, what color is that Lego? And then, you could also count the Lego. So, marami kayong pwedeng magawin dito sa Lego. Um, just use your imagination kung paano niya siya gagamitin sa inyong mga anak. So, yun. Legos is his every time makikita niya itong bag na to kukunin niya talaga kahit nung maliit pa siya hindi pa siya masyad nakakapaglakad talagang kukunin niya to hihilahin niya to para buksan namin. So, talaga <laughs> minsan tinatago ko to kasi sobrahan siya sa paglalaro. Pero love na love na love niya itong Legos and sometimes it will take him 15 to 30 minutes minsan 1 hour. Pulo Lego lang ang nilalaro niya. Tapos pagpagod na siya he will just throw away the Legos. And maganda siya itong Mega Blocks kasi ano siya matibay. Sobrang tagal na to talaga if you've been following my vlog Sisi na ginamit ko na siya before before pa. And I think for a bag of like this is about uh, 1,800 pesos. Tapos meron siyang discount nung nabili namin. So parang naging 900 na lang siya. Parang 50% discount. So yun. Uh, that's the second tip ko sa inyo guys. Okay, the third tip na I want to share with you guys is hindi naman kailangan palaging meron kang mga toys na ginagamit para ma-entertain yung anak mo. So, most of the time, kahit gano'n pa karami yung toys nila, nananawa at nananawa pa rin sila. So, yung third tip ko sa inyo is use your 
physical body para maging palaruan nila. So, in this clip, I'm, gonna, I'm showing you paano namin hihahayaan si River na lumusot sa mga paan namin. Minsan, um, nagpapakarga yan sa likod or alam mo yung mga rough playing uh, since pwede na siya. He's a two-year-old uh, toddler now. Pwede na siya ma-rough play. Pwede na siya makarga-karga. So, yun. Si Dada mahilig yun siyang uh, manghilite. Kikilitiin niya siya hanggang sa umiyak siya. Or minsan naman sa akin gusto niya sumasakay sa likod. Pero tapos kunwari ako ay isang kabayo or something like that. Gagalaw-galaw ako. Yes. Tuwang-tuwa yan siya sa ano na yan. Sa mga ganung play. So, use your body as his toy. Kasi nga, sabi nila, it doesn't matter kung Yung toys mo is mamahalin or mura lang sa bata. Ang importante sa kanya is meron siyang uh, connection sa iyo bilang isang magulang mo. So, ang pinaka-importanting toy niya is ikaw. Ikaw na parent niya. Ikaw yung number one, pinaka-most entertaining, most amazing, and most um, brilliant toy para sa kanila na super favorite nila at hindi sila mananawa. Kasi ikaw, if you're interacting with your toddler, he thinks of you, parang ikaw yung toy niya. So, ayun. Um, use your body. Parang the third, in summary, the third tip is be the toy for your <laughs> be the toy for your toddler. So, especially if toddler na sila kasi mas nakakapag-interact na sila, nakakapagsalita na sila, and mas nakakatuwa na sila ano, makipaglaro sa kanila. So, yun. Um, yun na aking third tip. So, if you want to know my fourth and fifth tip, uh, it's going to be continued sa channel ni Mommy Andrea Taylor uh, sa Taylor Family Vlogs. So, it's going to be linked down below on the description box and make sure na you click through that. For the meantime, you could watch Mommy Andrea's 4th and 5th tip here continued on my vlog. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is me, Andrea Taylor from Taylor Family Vlogs and you are currently watching me in the channel of Mommy Ruth. So, hi, I am Andrea Taylor from Davao City. I am a mom of two. I have Aiden and Travis. And I would just like to say thank you for mom... To Mommy Ruth for having this call up with me. Matagal na natin itong pinapag, pinag-uusapan. I'm so sorry. I prefer speaking in English kasi hindi ako marunong masyadong mag-Tagalog because this duck ko. Bisaya. So, mas kabalo ko mag-bisaya kaysa mag-Tagalog which is really, really bad because, you know, Filipino is our language. But, I am still trying my best to practice it more. Um, so, this video is going to be about my four to five things that we do at home to entertain the kids. I hope you guys will like this video and I hope you guys head to my channel as well and watch my video too. So, if you guys are not subscribers yet, I hope you do subscribe and like the video. Comment down below if I have anybody here coming from my channel visiting Mommy Roots channel and I'll see you later. Number four is baking. So recently, we've been, I've been getting all my baking supplies. So if you guys don't know, I used to bake almost every single day. I used to sell cookies. It's Mrs. Taylor's. We did today, we did chocolate chip cookies. And then tomorrow, we're going to do oatmeal cookies. And then carrot cake. And you know, like simple stuff that they like. And we're not going to finish it all. We're actually going to give it away or give it to my parents because they love having merienda. And yeah, so that's what we do. We do baking. So number five is playing outside. So currently, Aiden just learned how to ride the bike. So we practice every single day from 4.30 hanggang mga 6, almost 6, we would come home. So it's a great way for them to release all their energy, get some sun and some fresh air, and practice their biking. So since Travis doesn't really know how to use the bike yet, but I, I put a string over his in his bike tapos pinupul ko lang siya and Aiden Aiden is actually really good at it and what we do is when he bikes I would follow um, just beside him and like jog as well so it gives me a little bit more exercise and cardio so that's good so it's really important for us to get out and do um, a little bit of bike time with them because it's really good for them to release all I'm back Okay. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. Bilang final say, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo mga mamshis na gaya nga ng sabi ko kanina, ikaw ang pinaka-importanting libangan or entertainment ng iyong toddler. So don't underestimate yourself. Don't feel like you have to buy this expensive toys and this many toys. Kasi yung mga bata, kahit ano pang toys yan, mananawa at mananawa yan sila. Kasi ang pinakagusto talaga nila is ikaw. Gusto niyang may kalaro siya, which is ikaw. Yung attention mo, it's priceless. It's something na hindi, hindi mabibili 
ng kahit sino, kahit an hindi mabibili, no? hindi, ikaw ay hindi mapapalitan ng kahit anong pinaka-expensive toy na yan, or iPad pa yan, kahit iPad pa yan, nananawa pa rin sila. So, yun. <laughs> ikaw yung pinaka-best toy na your baby can ever have. Maniwala ka sa akin, totoo talaga yan. So, doon din nagsisimula ang foundation ng lahat-lahat para sa kanila. Yung eye contact, paano sila magsalita, is nakukuha nila sa iyo. Paano sila maging isang human being, sa inyo nyo talaga nakukuha yan through play with them, through your interaction with them. Ang importante sa kanila is they feel connected to you and doon nagsisimula yung feeling of safety nila sa kanilang sarili and then nagkakaroon sila ng self-esteem and yun. Um, If worst comes to worst, lalo na ngayon sa home quarantine, naubusan na kayo ng toy, just interact and play with your toddler. Um, just play with them and build that connection. Kasi that connection and that memories will stay with them for the rest of their life. And malay mo, maalala pa nila yun. Um, kagaya ko, ang earliest memory ko is me hugging my lola and siya yung nagpapahele sa akin every time na umiiyak ako or nagtatadrums ako. So, I still have that memory and for sure yung mga kids natin as early as 2 and 3 years old, they can have that primary memory and it will be best na yung memory nila is with you and not just with any other toy. And with that, we're gonna end this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe on this channel and uh, check out my other videos here and here and subscribe by clicking my picture here.